Well, it seems like Vince McMahon is way under pressure trying to keep his wrestlers in the company. When you know that you should have changed your product the way it was a long time ago. A long time ago. But it came to my realization that Vince McMahon is never going to change the way he produces product. And come to find out that he and the company are worrying about wrestlers leaving to go to all Eli Wrestling. Well, you should have thought about that before. Because number one, the wrestlers that are in your company are beginning to have second thoughts about staying in the company within five years because of how you manage your product. Too much sponsors is too PG-ish. And it's sad to me because this is not the way it's supposed to end, but it's already beginning. AEW are beginning to become the hottest thing on the planet right now. And you said that you'll be watching AEW. What you need to be doing is watching your product fail. Or maybe just maybe you'll probably step up to just step up to the plate. So when you sit there, it said that you held a meeting, I believe, which it was Tuesday, that you were talking to all of the wrestlers, putting, well, putting out all the stops, big money contracts. In their mind, they were probably thinking, well, would you look at that? That goes to show you that they will do whatever it takes to keep you guys in the company, which we all know that 95% is going to fail. So, that's why you have some indie wrestlers, and you basically have big name wrestlers from the WWE like CM Punk rumors Chris Jericho maybe oh yeah Dean Ambrose as well I almost forgot about him and you know what Vince all you care about is muscles and your products rather than keeping your products great you're too PG you're too childish you're too busy worrying about what the kids think when it comes to showing blood finding wrestlers for bleeding when they get hit like you did Batista years ago and it's quite obvious that you would rather not grow it continued to sink under the rug. And it pains me to say this, y'all. I don't like the WWE anymore. As of, t as of today. And let me explain to you why. The product sucked. Creative team is terrible at writing. Yeah, you have... Wrestlers who are defending their boss and their product and expect us to take it and swallow it. And the reason why we're criticizing your product, I mean your product, is everything. You're bringing in people from NXT, then you bring them to the main roster, and look what happened. They get ruined within five Minutes. Rather than keeping them in their current gimmick, you're basically just ruining another opportunity for them because of your hand-picked favorite. 
rather than building talent. I mean talents. Look, I, I apologize if my words are sounding like I'm slurry and everything. But you guys get the point. So. As for the women's division, I can care less about it because it's the same old format over and over again. And I know people are still making, you know, wrestling videos like I am, but that doesn't mean I'm watching Raw and SmackDown because the product is terrible and I don't care about NXT either. So I haven't watched it. So I told y'all the truth. There you go. But what I can do is keep y'all updated. And let y'all know what's up within a company. So that's about it. And until then. You're welcome.